in this in my first video I will be showing you how to make a drop down menu using Swift in Xcode for iOS so before starting with the coding let me show a small preview of the of what the drop down menu I will be showing today so when you click this select button uh, you can see an, a drop down menu appears and uh, when you select a color for instance indigo that the select button color should change to the color selected and the title should change and there will be a UI view here in the middle of the screen which will also change to that color so uh, if we choose green it will turn to green if you choose red if you, it will turn to red and so on so that's a small preview so let's get started with the with the coding let's open up xcode and uh, let's create a new project and let's call it drop down menu storyboard it's going to be storyboard UI kit Swift and uh, let's create the project wherever you want so let's go to the main the storyboard first uh, before that I'll just increase the font size so that you can see so I can see better so first go to the main dot storyboard and firstly I will embed this in a navigation controller just to make it a little bit more uh, ni nice looking, better looking and uh, I'll give a bar tint and uh, I'll give a color of shift system blue to the navigation bar tint and uh, firstly we need to start with the drop down menu, bring in a vertical stack view and drop it into the view controller. And uh, let's give it some constraints to the safe area. And uh, let's drop in a button. Okay. So we'll just style this button. So we'll uh, give it a background color of uh, blue, system blue. And the text color will be white. Let's increase the font size a bit so that it can be seen better. Bold. And let's give this a title of select. And let's also give this a height of uh, maybe 50. Okay. Uh, now let's just duplicate this same button three more times so let's just make three more buttons just type that and uh, this first button I'll give it a color of red color and a title of red and this next one I'll give it a color of system green and give it a color of green give it a title of green and this final button I'll give it a color of indigo and let's call it indigo and uh, we'll just hide the except keep the select button but hide the rest of the three buttons the red green and indigo buttons let's just hide those three buttons okay now let's make the start making the IB outlets and actions. So let's open assistant view. Let's just make the IB outlets. So let's make call this the select color button. I'll select color button. 
uh, before making the outlets I also forgot we need to add a UI view to get the color of the button selected so let's give it a horizontal say horizontal to in say container constraint and let's give this a height and width of 240 and let's give this also a trailing and leading constraint and also a bottom constraint of 240 okay make sure when you're giving constraint do not give a top constraint to this ui view especially to the may the view of this view controller because then you won't be able to open this drop down menu when it's uh, running so don't give a top constraint so now let's go back to the assistant view and continue with the um, continue making the ib outlets the system view doesn't seem to be working that's fine we'll go this way okay then we got to make a make a ib outlet for this view ui view and let's call it color view and we got to make an ib outlet one ib outlet for these three buttons the red green and indigo buttons so let's type ib outlet wow. let's call it color color buttons and this is going to be an array, an array of ui buttons and let's just link this ib outlet to these three buttons okay let's also make a uh, an action ui uh, ib action for this uh, for this button here select color button select color action it's called select color action okay we got to make also one IB action for the colored buttons the buttons inside the uh, drop down menu so let's call it uh, let's call it um, color button color button action you can call it anything you want let's just call it color action button action and send uh, a button and yeah and let's link this ib action to these three buttons okay the ib outlets and actions are done and uh, now we let's just continue on just with the coding so firstly let's make this this animation this animation to get the drop down menu when this button is clicked let's build that that animation first so let's create a func a function and let's call it show button visibility visibility okay to show the buttons to make the buttons visible and uh, we are going to perform a for each on this color buttons array array which is this one which contains the three buttons the red green and the indigo buttons and i'm going to perform for each on that so basically what happens in a for each is this this call or whatever this body will this function inside this bracket this uh, this um, body will be applied whatever in this is in this call will be applied to each of these buttons each of the buttons in the array so that's what will happen in when you use a for each so that's similar it's similar to a, a for loop as well so what will happen in this what the code that will go in here will apply it into all those three buttons 
so what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to type button is hidden is button sorry button button is hidden so basically what I'm doing here is so if the button for example for instance if the button is hidden is equal to false or false then the button when you when this function is called that false will turn into true and vice versa if this button dot hidden is hidden is true then it will change to false when this function is called so next I'll also call the uh, layout if needed function just to make sure that the sub views are laid and uh, we got to call this function we to call this function inside this function and this so basically when now this function this function here is for the select color button which was on top which is there and when you click that this animation should come and when you click a colored button which is red green or indigo still the animation should work so that is why i'm calling the function here here as well so let's just run this and see how it works so far uh, let me just delete this delete the previous version and see how it works Sorry, I made a mistake. I should have used a different simulator. Okay, let's use iPhone XR instead. It's taking a bit of time to load. We can see a few seconds. And there it is. And uh, let's just click this select button and see. And yeah it's pretty good but uh, it's too fast so let's give a let's give it a small animation uh, animation to make it look nicer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call UI view dot animate animate and I'm going to give this an interval of 3.3 seconds and inside this function inside this section I'll be putting passing the code and uh, let's see now how it works and yeah that's much better that looks much better so yeah when you click one of these buttons as well it should go back it should phase out so yeah that's basically it for the animation now let's build the part where when a button a colored button is selected that the color of this button select button should change to that particular color and the title also should change to the particular name of the particular color and this view ui view which is here should change to that color so in this case i'll be using a switch case and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the current title of this button so based based on the title of the button of the button selected so red green and indigo the it will the colors will change so in the case it is red in the case if the title is red the select color button which is this blue button which should, which should open the drop down menu so that the color of that button should change to uh, the red color so let's get red let's give it system red and then select button color button select color button title or set title should change to red as well and for the state normal and finally we should change the color of the view the ui view also to that particular color so system red and let's just copy this k 
case twice for green and indigo let's just give this also let me go back to that later so for green the color of this button the select button should also change to system green and should change the color of the ui view also should change to system green and the title of the select button should change to green and here if it's indigo if it's the, if the button selected is indigo it should change to system oops system system indigo and so does the color of the UI will change to system indigo and the title of the button should be changed to indigo and finally we just put a default case as uh, change just leaving the background color of the UI view to system white uh, just white okay now let's just see let's uh, run the appends here and see whether it works so here goes and now let's just click this color this select button rather and let's select a color let's select green and there you go the color of the UI view and the button changes green you select indigo indigo select red red and uh, that is basically it that is how you make a simple drop down menu in Swift and uh, so thank you for watching hope you found this video useful and it would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe and give this video a like and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching